guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, I'm coming around. Ooh. Hi, guys. Hey, you guys. I should be ashamed, but I went my Tobby Lobby uh, two more times since the last time, and I said if I went back to Hobby Lobby to the one closest to my house because they hadn't clearance the yarn. I already went to my first one 15 minutes away and I bought a ton of yarn you saw last time and I said if I go to the one that's by my house and keep checking it to see like you know when they clearance the yarn it's like five minutes from my house you guys can reach through the camera and slap me right in the head well you can reach the camera and slap me right in the head <laughs> oh god I went I went on Wednesday and what was weird is okay, I, okay if you don't want to hear the story just fast forward but just real quick I think you might like the story on Wednesday, I went there because I went, I had to go pick up a new um, thing to hold my camera, hold my phone, a tabletop one, because my other one broke. Okay, so that's that Best Buy. Oh, what's across the street? Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. I didn't go to Dollar Tree. I just went to Hobby Lobby. <coughs> so Hobby Lobby's across the street, and I'm like, oh, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm like, I'll go over there and check. I really highly doubt that they're going to be having the yarn out right now. Or someone's going to be marking down yarn or whatever. I went there. She had just started marking down the yarn at 4.30. And I'm like, you're just marking it down right now at 4.30? She goes, yeah. There's ladies were here at 9 o'clock this morning. And they were all complaining that we weren't, we hadn't been marking down the yarn yet. I went, oh, they're going to be mad. <laughs> so um, I'm like there for like 20 minutes by myself. And then um, she's marking down yarn. And I said, it's okay. It's okay if I just follow you while you mark down the yarn. I go, you don't have to rush or anything. I'm having a good time. She's like, oh, okay. So she marked it down. She said, you want this? I said, yeah. She'd go throw it in my cart. It was awesome. And this is the second little yarn party I had. My first one was a yarn party too. So then another lady came by. And um, she, oh, I don't know the name of her channel. She just, we and her just talked. I'll try to look up the name of her channel and I'll put it below. I'm so sorry. Um, I just met her. We were talking and she's like, who are you? I said, Angela from My Fairy Treasures on YouTube. She goes, I know you. So we started talking. We shopped together for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know how long we were there. And then halfway through, another couple of girls joined us. We're all socially distanced. We're all wearing our masks. And um, we all were so nice to each other. Everybody was like, oh, do you want that? Do you want that? Do you want to split that? Nobody was fighting. Everybody was having a good time. And it was so fun. This went on, like I said, for probably an hour and a half maybe a little longer I don't know so we had a good time okay so let's get to the yarn sorry about that but I had to tell you that little story that's how it all went down oh wait wait there's more okay so then she told me on Wednesday she said um now she was she was able to pretty much do all the aisles except for just the second aisle there was just the other half she couldn't do that she was we pro I probably won't be able to get it done tomorrow but I'll probably do it on Friday I can't do it on Thursday I'll do it on Friday because um we have a truck coming I go okay so then um, I woke up Friday, I go, she did say Friday. Okay, now this is my third damn time. And there was just a little bit more I would have loved to have been able to get. And, um, excuse my nose, I'd love to be able to get. So I went at nine o'clock in the morning and guess what? It wasn't the same girl. She was just clicking it on. So all three times, one, two, three times I went. I went right when they were, just had begun putting the red tags on the yarn and I got to follow the person around all three times I got so lucky this year it was ridiculous okay that's why I know I was meant to have all this yarn okay you guys are like girl you're crazy Ugh. never said I was saying okay oh and really quick too I bought more bags of yarn this time and spent less money I have one two three four five six bags of yarn you guys last time i only had four or five okay anyway let's begin all right let me just get these out because i don't know what i have in here and some stuff is repeats of what i already had but i'm was so good with that because i wanted to get a little bit more because sometimes you can only get three or four or one or two of something so anyway i picked up i believe three more of these okay so it's the denim it's the denim in color and it's the color um well let me show you the, the label it's yarn bees 
I'm gonna go close to the camera and then I'm gonna come out a little bit because some colors can be up close, some colors can't. Like this one's probably gonna blow out. So if I hold it about here, it won't blow out. I did a little test on it. After watching my last video, I was kind of perturbed. I'm like, ugh, my lighter colors kind of blew out. Anyway, I have a ring light. I'm trying to prepare, make my videos better. Anyway, I'll stop bitching. Okay, um, this is that this was gray, and um, it's Yarn B denim in color. Um 157 yards, 50% acrylic, 50% cotton, uh, size nine needle and crochet hook, K10 and a half. I'm really excited about this. I've never done half cotton, half, um, half cotton, half, uh, acrylic. So that's really cool. This is that dim, this is, I bought three more and this color. So I won't tell you the particulars. Of course, it's the same brand. There's the brand. Um, this one is in ivory and look how pretty that is. Uh, this was regularly $4.99, got it for $1.24. Yeah. On both of these, because they're both the same. Okay. And I always make sure to try to tell you guys the prices because that's like half the fun of this whole thing is that we're all getting this yarn for such an insanely good price. All right, some of my stuff got mixed up. Okay, we'll save those. Just a sec. All right, we'll save those. Hopefully I'll find some more of those. Okay, I bought four of these. Um, this is soft and sleek, low fiber pill. So that's what the label looks like. And that's what the yarn looks like. I'll come in closer if you guys if it, if it gets blown out that's fine because I'm going to bring it back so you guys can see it it's all shades of purple it's really really pretty really really pretty um the particulars on this is 186 yards oh and these other two were a worse weight four let me just make sure yeah if it's a needing yeah this is worsted weight this here is worsted weight also, like a like a number four. Um, it's 186 yards, uh, size eight needle, uh, size J10 hook, crochet hook. And like I said, it's a, uh, yeah, a four weight. So four of those. Okay, I got one more of these because I got one on my last trip, last week, and then I got one from last year's clearance. So now I have enough of these. These are hard to come by because I'm sure everybody wants this color. Okay, this is a uh, sugar wheel and it's kind of a mess, but whatever. That does not matter because look at those colors. I, at least I think they're fabulous. This turquoise with this off-white and the beige and is it black or brown? It's a black and then a dark brown. It's gorgeous. So now I have three of these, so I should be able to make myself a uh, boho cardigan out of these. I love it. It's called Whipped Mocha. It's gorgeous. Out of all of the sugar wheels, I think this is the prettiest sugar wheel. It's 355 yards, 100% acrylic, size 8 needle, and size 9 uh, crochet hook. So, yeah. Everything. Okay, that's one of my faves. Okay, let me put that aside. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? Let me put, you guys, just a second, sorry. I have to put um, this yarn away or I'm not going to have enough room for the next batch. Just a second. Yes, it's another large haul, which I cannot believe I got all this yarn. Okay. Okay, these three are also sugar wheels. These two right here are the same. Let me show you. These two here are the same. And that's the colors. And then I'm going closer. Hopefully, if it that's why I show you here. See, so hopefully you can see it. If it blows it out, if I bring it back, it should not blow it out. So that's the colors. It's gorgeous. 
it's a um it's just pretty all different shades of purples and then blues and grays it's gorgeous i think um like i said it was a regularly 6.99 i got it for a dollar 74 yeah so and that's what the front looks like and it's 100 percent acrylic uh, a lot of yards, 355 yards. Oh, I, same as the other sugar wheel, but I'll just say it. Size eight knitting needle and size nine crochet hook. Now I got this other colorway. It almost looks the same, but it's different. So here it is. Let me show you this way. Look how pretty that is. And it's close enough, in my opinion, to this that I could weave that right into here especially doing a boho cardigan and you wouldn't even know so yeah love that that would be this would even make a pretty shawl i don't talk about shawls very often but i like to make shawls too um and i already told you guys the particulars on this so got those three okay let me just get all of this out. Just a second. Okay, this is all I love this yarn. So let me just get the colors out together that I got so that I'm somewhat organized here. When I show this, so I'll keep repeating myself. It'll be worth it. Just a second. I don't know why. Okay. That's a little bit over there. Okay. So this is all I love this yarn. So I'm just going to give you the particulars on I love this yarn. And then I won't tell you guys all the particulars again. But this is I love this yarn. And I picked it up for $1.24, regularly $4.99. And I got this colorway the last time. I probably picked up four or five of them. And I got one, two, three, four, five again. So it has a lot of shades of like purples and magenta and a little bit of like a sagey green. I don't normally like the green, but it's a sagey green. So it goes really well, especially with the purple and sagey green or greens go with purple well. I don't know if you ever noticed that, but. Anyway, so I picked up, oh, so I picked up one, one, two, three, four, five. And the last time, like I said, I picked up four or five before. It's super soft. I love, I love this yarn. Okay, the particulars is 252 yards, 100% acrylic. Uh, knitting needle size eight and US size hooks, a nine. So, okay, so got those. Um, this is still, I love this yarn. So let me show you the color. This is gorgeous. It's very fall looking. It's so pretty. And I picked up, um, I'll show it this way. And I picked up one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five of them. And I got four or five last time. So this would make a beautiful boho cardigan and it would make a beautiful sweater too. So I'm not sure which one I'll make out of that. It would make a gorgeous fall shawl. I don't know. I don't buy yarn. When I'm buying it at this price, I do not care what I'm making out of it. I just buy what I like. And uh, there you go. Okay. I bought three more of these. I picked up probably three or four last time. Maybe five. I'm not sure. Um, this color right here. Look how beautiful that is. This color is called Bright Violet. I, I didn't tell you the names of the other two colors. The one that was kind of fall looking was plum berry, and then this more purpley one. This more purpley one was called wild carnation. This one that looked more fall, like I said, was called plum berry. Okay, and this purpley one that I just showed you is bright violet. I think it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and they all have the same particular so does this one have the same particular just one second i'm just curious oh it's a little less yardage 
everything's the same except it's a little and this is all worsted weight um this right here this one has 196 yards this one here the other ones are 252 so anyway doesn't matter no okay oh actually i picked up enough oh no i got it okay all right let me put all this away and we'll go on to the next bag I'm also going to show you guys something I got from Dollar Tree of how to store yarn, especially if you have to now go to your garage, which is where I have to go, because um, my, uh, I call it my art studio. I have a craft room and an art studio, and in my art studio, it's, ha it's on the walls is all yarn. Well, that's all filled up now. So now I must go to the garage, and I'm going to show you where I'm storing it in the garage, and there are bags that I get. Oh, here they are. They're bags that I get from Dollar Tree. Okay, these are those large bags that, you, that you're supposed to, like, take a vacuum cleaner and suck all the air out when you put, like, your sweaters or your bedspreads or whatever, extra clothes in, blankets. But I don't even use the vacuum. I just suck the air out of it with the thing that it comes with. But this is what they are. They're vacuum storage bags, and it's the large ones by Essentials at Dollar Tree. What an inexpensive way to store them. The, the bags are super thick. You guys are not thin at all. They're thick. Um, they're fabulous. And they're a lot better than the plastic totes because you can suck the air out of them and make them a lot thinner so you can stack more in your garage. So you can buy more yarn. Okay. All right. Let me see where we're at. Okay. Oh my gosh. I see a repeat of some stuff that um, I already showed you. <laughs> that I got more than I thought, but anyway. Okay, I bought one, two, three, four of these. And the first time I went last week, I didn't take advantage of this color. Because blue, like these type of, I like these type of blues like in my craft room, like pinks and blues. And like Robin's Egg blue and pinks and stuff like that and creams for my craft room, which was what we're in right now. But I don't really like to wear this color. But then I thought I need to wear some type of oceany blue, like shawls and stuff. So anyway, I didn't skip it this week. So it's I Love This Yarn. back here I love this and the color is called uh mint mint lace I don't know why it's mint lace it's totally different shades of blue more oceany and um it's I love this yarn it's 252 yards acrylic the whole thing you guys know the, the deal with this one now and then I did find two more of those purples remember that was in the last bag <coughs> that's why I was laughing I was like okay <laughs> more of those okay now, this is all of the uh, D-Leash Boutique. And quick story on this, which is really cool, is um, I didn't even see them. The girl that I was shopping with, the other fellow YouTuber, she saw them. I don't know how I skipped over those, but they're on the bottom shelf, and I didn't see that she had marked them down. And I was looking at her cart, and we were on the other aisle, and I said, they had D-Leash Boutique? And she goes, I didn't even see those ones. I seen them in videos, but I didn't see them on the shelf. She goes, yeah, they're on the lower shelf. I go, oh. So I went over there, I picked up what they had left, and um, and so then we're like almost done shopping, and she goes, you know what, I don't even think I want these Delete Boutiques. She just threw them in my cart. So the amount of, de uh, de what's it called? Delish Boutique I got is crazy. I think it is. I uh, It's crazy good. Okay, just a second, I'm just getting them all out last one and you know what let me put away my other ones that I just showed you because I, I need room sorry guys okay so the Delish Boutique that are the same I gotta find, make sure I know which ones are the same oh it's over there 
Okay, this color here, okay, I got three of this one. And this is this color here. Look how beautiful this is. I'll show it from here. And then I'll show it up close. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? It's shades of grays and beiges, dark gray, light gray, light beige, darker beige. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. That's the, um, what the, and it has a fuzz on it. I love it. It's beautiful. So thank you, girl, for um, throwing those in my cart, those extra ones. Oh, my gosh. I was so shocked. I'm like, are you sure? You can keep this. And she's like, no, I don't want it. Um, they're 590 yards, so it's good yardage. 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca, and it's super soft like a baby's butt. US 9 and hook size uh, 7, and they're calling this a three-weight. Now, I don't like three weights. Like, I don't like lightweight. You guys see pretty much all my stuff has been worsted or you know, medium four or worsted weight. Um, it's a thicker three weight, but I'll hold it double. And I got so much yardage that I can hold it double. And I got so many of them. So I'll hold it double and kind of turn it a little bit more worsted. Because, like, three weights drive me. I, I don't have the patience. I just don't have the patience to knit forever. It just drives me crazy. I, I just... I've tried, I have a shawl that's made of the most gorgeous yarn. It's a three-way. I still haven't finished the damn shawl. It's a triangular shawl. Anyway, next, look at this color. Isn't that gorgeous? You guys, I'm stressing a little bit. Let me make sure my camera's still going. Let me just get up and check really quickly. Okay, it's going. Because I would be so... I, I One time I did a... a YouTube video and um, I did a YouTube video and I guess the camera turned off or never turned on. I don't know. And I had no video and I did the whole, you, I did the whole Dollar Tree haul. I was so perturbed. Okay. Again, look at this. This is gorgeous. And these aren't colors I normally choose, but like I said, I wanted some oceany type of colors and that's so ocean with different shades of blue and white and beige. I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's gorgeous. And I just told you all the particulars about it. Okay. So the next one is um, this color here. So this is all of the um, Delish Boutique. Let me bring it back a little bit in case you it gets blown out. Isn't that gorgeous? This is pretty. I almost didn't buy this, but then I'm like, girl, this color is gorgeous. You need to get it. Um, it's like a rosy pink, different shades of lilac, uh, lilac purple, but light, some pinks in there. It's gorgeous. Okay. Now these, um, I didn't tell you the price of these. These were regularly $6.99, gone for $1.74. That's ridiculous. Okay. And the, um, the next, wait, did I have to show you that one? Yeah, I showed you this is the last one. Okay, this one is gorgeous. Check this one out. I didn't tell you the name of the last one, but I want you to know what the brand looks like. Oh, there's the brand, just so you know what that looks like. This one is, uh, what's the name of it? I don't know. I can't even find the damn name of them. Anyway, you guys see them. So, look how beautiful that is. I love it. It has, uh, like, grays and, like, dark grayish browns, a lighter gray, a light blue, a light gray, a white, a beige. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And you know what? If, if I didn't have enough for a project, I could always intermix these two together. See how similar they are together? So... That's really pretty. These, you know, even though if I knit two together, two strands together, um, I knit, you guys. I don't know if I ever said that. I knit. I don't crochet. If I knit two strands together on that, um, I could come up with a really pretty uh, worsted way. It'd be a lighter worsted, I think, and do a shawl out of it. It'd be pretty. Okay. Let's put these away. And for those who knit, I like to do, tri if I do a shawl, I can do a big, long, big, huge, long triangular shawl where you start with just like three stitches on the thing and then you build up 
you, you start with your V and you put on, I think you only knit two stitches or three stitches and then you keep adding a stitch, adding a stitch and it just grows like this. It's super simple. And it's just all uh, the basic knit stitch. I like big projects that are simple. Simple to do, but it looks like you did way more than you did. That's the kind of projects I like. I just don't like, like, um, I wish I did. I just don't have patience for it. I don't like um, knitting patterns that are, like, super complex. Like, I just like to relax and be able not to count everything and just be, like, and just going. That's what I like, so... I think because I use knitting as like my hour in the morning, I usually try to knit an hour in the morning and then an hour in the evening. It doesn't always happen, but I try to do that, like have coffee with my husband or tea and do some knitting in the morning. And then when I'm relaxed in the evening, we're watching the news or watching a movie or whatever, or sports, whatever he wants to watch, then I can knit in the evening for an hour. So that's what my I like to do. So that's like a relaxing time. So then I don't want to have, um... okay, this is next. I don't want like some confusing pattern going on in my brain that I have to focus on because I'm trying to relax. Anyway. I mean, sometimes I wish I liked confusing patterns because I see some stuff that I want to knit. And I found some really basic sweaters that are like oversized. I love oversized, slumpy, boyfriend type of sweaters. And I found two of them that look pretty simple to knit and they're just big oversized and oh, I can't wait. I'm definitely going to knit a sweater or two this year or this coming year. Okay. I have a lot in here. Oh, okay. You guys, I had an extra one of this color of that, the leash. I had another one of those. Pretty. Let me throw that in with that other bag. So they're all together. I, when I, when I give them to them, I try to give them everything together. So it's all together, but I don't know. Sometimes when they're putting it together, they don't keep it all together. Okay. I'm probably asking too much. Okay. So I got four of these and this is the second time I've gotten these. So four of these, I got these I, four or five of them last week. This is the denim in color. Okay. So there's the color. And when you knit this, it'll look like faded denim jeans, I think. I think it's going to be gorgeous. I want to hold, I got so many of them. I want to hold two strands together and do a boho cardigan out of this. This is even a real, really pretty sweater too. We'll see. Um, it's 157 yards. You know what? This would make even a really pretty, um, shawl. It'd be very like, like jean friendly. Cause it looks like denim. That'd be cool. Okay. Anyway. 157 yards, 100% uh, acrylic, 100 or 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. Again, I've never used 50% cotton and 50% acrylic, but I'm excited to do it. Okay, so it's a knitting needle size nine. It's a K10 and a half crochet hook, um, and it's a um, four weight, I believe. Yeah, it's a light four, but it's a four. Um, okay, so I got that color, and then this is the same brand but this color and that last color was called denim this one was denim so this is what this one looks like this i know is going to get blown out so let me bring it back here so hopefully you guys are seeing it it's not getting blown out these light colors like this oh, on my last video they were just getting blown out i was like oh this is a, this is gray. It doesn't even, it's so light gray. It doesn't even look really gray. It's really pretty. Um, I think I showed you this already. This is a, um, ivory one. Yeah, I did show you guys these in the last, in a couple bags ago, but I got another one of the ivories. Very, very pretty. Just a second, because I would like, yeah, let me throw it in this other bag. I'd like to keep some stuff together. Did I show you that gray already? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this I already showed you in that other bag. Sorry. It's hard to keep everything um, completely together. Okay. Let me see what else is in this bag. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are so pretty. Oh, my God. I love them. 
I got these last time last week, but I got some colors today that I didn't get before. And I didn't get a whole lot of them. I got like maybe two or three of each, so I'm glad to have gotten some more. So when I make my big projects, I have enough yarn. Okay, so this is all marble-esque yarn bee. So soft, it's like a baby's butt. So here's what the um, label looks like. And I bought this for, um, it was regularly $5.49, got for $1.37. Look how gorgeous. And I love that they look like these little donuts. Aren't these cute? Oh, I'll bring it in closer. I'm sure it's getting blown out. Bring it in closer. So we'll bring it back out. Gorgeous. I picked up four. Um, they're so beautiful. God, they're soft as a baby's butt. I love it. It's 216 yards. Um, this color is called taupe. The ball band is inside the yarn. I'm looking for some readers. I may not be able to tell you guys the particulars on this because 94% uh, acrylic and what does it say? 94% acrylic and there's a little wool in here. I can't tell how much. It's a, uh, uh, it's a four weight. So it's like a size nine needle. And then you guys know what you need for four weight for a crochet hook. Okay, so that's gorgeous. Okay, now I told you all the particulars about that. I got two in pink. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to bring this back because I know it's going to get blown out. It's so beautiful, so soft. Now, I only got, I think, two or three. Two or three last time. So now I really have enough to make a project. So I was glad to find this again. So I got two of those. Um, for right now, I think we only got one of these. But I got more of these last week. So um, this is like a gray. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I got three or four of these last time. So now just adding this one on. There might be a couple more in another bag. Okay, now this is completely a different yarn. This is... Um, Sweet Divinity, but it's Yarn B still. Uh, it was $4.99, picked it up for $1.24. So there's the, the little packaging. And then this is what the color is. Isn't that gorgeous? This color is beautiful. It's 243 yards. I think the color is called, yeah, Aquamarine. The weight looks a little thin. This would be a gorgeous shawl. Um... They're saying it's a four weight. It's not a four weight. So I will hold it double because and make a worsted out of it because it's not a four weight. Okay. Um, it's 80% acrylic and 20% nylon and 243 yards. And it's super soft. I absolutely love it. And I have two of them. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. I think I got, I might have gotten more of these. We'll see as we, this video goes on. Or I might have got this in another color. I, I don't know. We'll see. I cannot believe this Hobby Lobby adventure, how lucky I've gotten this time. Luck, way luckier than last year. I mean, all three times, three times I went, they were just marking the yarn down. And I got to follow the person around, basically. Not basically, I did. Um, is that everything? Wait, just a second. I already did that. I did all of that. I think I have one more bag. Let me see if I did. Oh, no, I have. Wait. Okay, you guys, I have two more bags. Oh, my God. Can you guys believe how much yarn I got? This is, like, ridiculous. Yeah. I have two more bags. Okay, let me bring them closer. Let me change out my bag situation. All right. And if you guys ever wonder, like, you're like, why does she always want, like, four, like five skeins of everything? Because, like I said, I make big projects. I don't make small projects very often. And so um, I usually need, if I do a boho cardigan, if you're using bulky yarn, you're going to need about six skeins. Five or about five skeins, and um, and the bow cardigan goes like right 
like right it goes below your butt right to like your knees that's how long i like my boho cardigan if i do a sweater you know you need like a thousand yards um if i use worsted i usually double the worsted to make a boho cardigan too so then i'll still need you know i'll need a thousand yards there so i make a lot of big projects you guys so that's why okay just a second guys sorry just getting this yarn out oh my gosh it's almost embarrassing how much i've gotten okay okay here we go i bought one two three four five and i picked up probably four last time maybe three three or four last time i think closer to three of this so i picked up one two three four and it's the glowing boat ride look how gorgeous that is Bring it back here so you guys can see it. It's so soft and it's so silky. That's why they call it glowing. It has a shininess to it and it's really pretty. Um, it was regularly $5.49, got it for $1.37. Um, how many yards? 198 yards, 60% acrylic, 40% polyester, knitting needle size nine, and crochet hook size eight so and it's super soft you guys i absolutely am obsessed with that love love and then i only got one of these because i was hoping i would find another one maybe I did. maybe i found another one the last time i hope so but if not i can make like a, a scarf out of it um it's this color isn't it so pretty but they I, i'm only seeing that i have one so but I might have got one or two the la like the last time I went. I don't know. Okay. I can't believe I have this many of these. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't want two more times. Okay. Okay, just a second, guys. I got two make room for myself oh those are different okay okay cool sorry I'm talking to myself Okay, those um, Marvelesque, I found two more pink ones. So I had to get two more of those. So we won't talk about those, but those are gorgeous. You guys know I am obsessed with those. And they're so soft. Bring them back a little bit so you can see the beautiful pink on them. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Um, I picked up one, two. I don't think I showed you the mints yet, did I? Okay, of that Marvelesque. I got four of the mints. I won't tell you the particulars because I've already showed told you guys about those. Look how beautiful that is. Did I show you guys this color already? I can't remember. But this mint color is gorgeous and it would go so pretty. I think it would go so pretty with this pink to make a project, to make a shawl, a boho car. It don't matter. Shawl, boho cardigan, sweater, whatever. This yarn's so gorgeous, you can do whatever you want. But wouldn't that be pretty together? A blocked type of boho cardigan would be gorgeous. And then, of course, a shawl would be pretty. Okay, let me put these away. Um, and then I have we got three more of these gray. This is also the mar the um marblesque of the gray. And I have three more. Very pretty. I think that's what I already showed you guys a few of those already in the last bag. Anyway, I can't remember. Okay, now this is that um, Sweet Divinity. So soft, you guys. That's what the Sweet Divinity. Again, I got this for $1.37, regular $4.99. And this is what it looks like. Look how pretty. 
This color is just called, it's called Gray Clouds. I just want to look at some of the particulars. Uh, 243 yards. I think they said it's a lightweight three, and I told you guys I would hold this stuff double. 80% um, acrylic, 20% nylon. 243 yards, and they're saying it's a four. This is not a four, this is a three in my opinion. So, but it's absolutely gorgeous, look how pretty that is. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five of those. Okay. Put all this back. <laughs> Just a shirkin. Okay, last bag finally, you guys, I think. Yeah, last bag. Okay. If you guys are wanting, um, if you um, crochet and you want to make like doilies and stuff, and wherever else you make out of crochet, uh, this is a 100% mercenized Egyptian cotton, but it's like crochet thread. Um, regularly, $2.89, I got it for $0.72. Cents. I bought this one though because I wanted the dark brown for my hair extensions. I sew my braids after I braid them to make them thicker, or thicker, to make them tighter. Anyway. All right. Okay. I picked up one, two, three, four of these. And I think I got three or four last time from last week. So four of these. And um, this is Stripe It uh, Yarn B. I love this. I got some of this last year. I don't think I got this. I didn't get this color last year. I got black and white. I didn't get black and white this time. I could. They didn't have it. At least when I went, they didn't have it. Look how cool that is. So it turns out like a total color block. Like see how it turns out? gray black gray that's how it turns out on the back there that's really cool i'd love to do one of my boho cardigans out of this or even a um sweater oversized sweater that would look cool um it's how many yards 196 yards 72 percent acrylic you get 22 percent wool in this it's super soft it doesn't feel itchy at all it just feels really soft um Knitting needle size eight, crochet hook size I nine, and of course it's a four weight. Regularly four ninety nine, got it for a dollar twenty four, and one hundred ninety six yards. This is a good deal with this. Love it. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Um, I think I got a couple more of these last week. I only got two on this trip of this. It's the same stripe it, but this is the color. And you can't really see it, but it's white, gray, white. That's what it shows up on the back. I'm sure you're not going to be able to really see that. Really, really pretty. Love it. So I think I got a couple, like maybe two or three last week on this one. So got another one of those dark brown. crochet threads. All right, let me get these out. Now this, this, this pink I passed up on last week because I have a lot of pink in my, a lot of pink yarn now, but I saw it again this week. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it. It's a really pretty pink. I like, it's the really light, light, really light pastel rosy pink that I like. So I was like, okay, well, I'll get it. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And the reason this trip I was able to get so much of some colors is because she just was marking them down. Like literally she just had started and I was the only one that was looking at it, period. I mean, this is the beginning of the markdown for my Hobby Lobby by my house. Okay, so this is the yarn. This was regularly 549 
and I got for $1.37. It's Brushworks. And I've seen a lot of people get this Brushworks, but this is the only color of Brushworks I think I got. So there's the label and there's the color. Isn't it pretty? It's such a light, just pretty pink. Absolutely love it. Um, the particulars, it's very soft. All of Hobby Lobby's yarn is soft. I never seen any, I've never felt any yarn in Hobby Lobby that I didn't think was soft. Uh, it's 90% acrylic, 20% alpaca, so that's cool. 254 yards, um, knitting needle size 7, crochet hook size L9, and it's a three weight. Yeah, and it's a three weight. So definitely I would hold this double. Very pretty. Love it. It would make a gorgeous shawl. It would make a gorgeous, gorgeous shawl. Okay, um... Oh, I got one more of the Stripits, and this is in the pink and white. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, they only had one, but I already picked up four from last week from from my, from my the store that was further away from me. So now I have like maybe five of these, so I have enough to make a really nice project. And I definitely do boho cardigans out of this. It's called Blush. It's absolutely beautiful. And it goes white, pink, white. And you can probably not see it on there either, on that little square right here. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy I got that one. Okay, and I picked up, I won't take these out of the bag. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of these, you guys. And I passed up on it last week. I don't know why, but I keep telling you guys I want to make some oceany blue looking things. I love going to the ocean. There's a place called Pismo Beach. In California and I love we love going there we haven't gone there for a while and now because of COVID we won't be going on vacation at all for a long time I'm sure but oh we stay right on the ocean in a beautiful hotel and it's just so magical and I absolutely love it so um since I love the ocean I don't know why I wasn't loving these ocean type of colors but I am now so anyway this is as I totally like uh, get off subject it was regularly $4.99. I got it for $1.24. It's Yarn B again. It's True Colors. Um, look how gorgeous that is. So oceany blue. I love it. Very soft. Very has a like a silky shine to it. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me bring it back a little bit. And I'll bring it forward. I just want to make sure however the light's hitting it, you guys are seeing it. Okay. Now this is a thicker yarn. This is probably a five weight. Let me just look at the particulars. It's called Pale Aqua. So perfect. Remember I said I want oceany colors. This is definitely a boho cardigan or a sweater. Probably a boho cardigan. Um, 76 yards. You're not getting a ton of yardage, but whenever you get bulky yarns, you don't get a lot of yardage, but you don't need as much yardage because, um, because it's bulkier. So with 76 yards, I probably only need six gains to do a bulky, to do a uh, boho cardigan. Um, so it's 76 yards. It's a knitting uh, needle size 15. I love a size 15 needle. I love it. On a cable. Yes, ma'am. Um, crochet hook M slash N13. You guys know what that means. Um, and like I said, it's a bulky six. So I'm loving it. Um, regular $4.99. Got it for $1.24. Love this. Obsessed. And I like I told you, I picked up one two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. I can't believe I got seven of these. That's crazy for $1.24. Okay, you guys, I think that's all my bags. Let me make sure. I looked at that, I got that, I did that. Let me make sure that I got everything. I mean, I should, I mean, I've gone on and on long enough, that's for sure. And we did all those. You guys, can you believe that? I'm all done. And um, there are no more Hobby Lobbies for me to go to. Um, there's one that's uh, east of me. Hopefully my camera did not go off. There's one that's east of me, but it's way too far out. And a girl told me that, that she was there and they already got rid of all their yarn. The other one that's further away from me, 15 minutes, it's already uh, done with. Because me and like four of the girls took care of that. Plus then people came and got the rest of it. And there's one more way far out. But I'm sure they've already done theirs, and it's really far, like an hour, so I don't want to go there. And I've spent enough money on yarn, so, okay, honestly, you're not going to see me do any more 
Hobby Lobby clearance hauls for this year. <laughs> I think I've done enough damage. I don't even know where I'm putting all this. Well, I got those bags, so. Okay, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye! Oh my God, I don't want to kill myself over all this yarn. Okay, I didn't, I didn't kill myself.